Hello! Hi guys, it's Inamka4 here with another unboxing and this time we've got the new Nexus 7 2013 model landing here in the UK on today, the 28th of August 2013. I've picked this up from eBuyer for £199.99p and as you can see, this is a 16 gigabyte model. We've got the standard Nexus 7 packaging here, pretty plain around the sides, still made by Asus, carrying on the bulletproof build quality from the first 2012 Nexus 7 model. You've got the 7 branding there, you've got some barcodes along the bottom, pretty much the rest of it is pretty plain. So let's uh, slide this off. Sliding that off reveals a Google logo in silver towards the bottom right of this box here, plain white box along all sides and you've got the two seals there and there with the Asus Computer Corporation branding across the bottom. So we'll get these open here, there we go, and this side here. And what we'll do, lie that down flat on that desk. And here we go. Just leave that to one side over there. Oh, look how good that looks with the light bouncing off the reflective packaging here. So we'll put that down for a second, remove the Nexus 7. And oh, that does look good indeed. We'll take a deeper look at that in one second. Let's just check out what else we get at the box first of all. And we have some quick start information telling us a bit about the device and also how to charge it up from a power outlet on the wall. We've got some health and safety information as well as a Zeus Nexus 7 warranty information for hopefully a boring read one day. First up, we have the charging and data transfer cable. A little bit closer here for you now. And along the one side, you can see a standard USB 2.0 connected with the Zeus branding and the USB logos imprinted on it. I Along the other side you've got the standard micro USB connectors that we're used to now with along the one side the standard USB logos imprinted on it. And the only other thing out of the box here is a standard 3 pin UK power connector and if I can remove the packaging from this I'll just show you it doesn't look quite the right size with the 3 pins being so close to each other but what you have to do is push it up like so and then it fits into the wall. Along the other side you've got the Asus branding as you can see there with a standard USB 2.0 port. We'll leave that down to one side here and finally bring in the Nexus 7 tablet itself. So remove the cellophane packaging. And here it comes. Slide that out there. Vertically across the back here, you've got the Nexus logo imprinted onto this matte black finish. Towards the bottom, you can also see an imprinted Asus logo. And if I turn that around slightly, you can see the micro USB data transfer and charging port alongside one side of the stereo speakers. And if we head towards the top, you've got the five megapixel rear facing camera capable of shooting 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames per second. And you can also see the other side of the stereo speakers. Along the top, you've got the 3.5 millimeter audio jack, and this side is completely clean with no markings or buttons whatsoever. But along the other side, you've got the power as well as the volume up and down rockers and a microphone. Notice there's no markings whatsoever for the power or the volume up and down rockers. And while we go around to the front of the device, I'm also going to turn it on at the same time, revealing the 7-inch LED backlit IPS LCD capacitive touchscreen, which brings up a resolution of 1920 by 1200. Along the top here, you can see the 1.2 megapixel front-facing camera. In terms of connectivity, this device supports the Wi-Fi standards ABGNN, Bluetooth, 4.0 and the NFC chip is along the back here. Incidentally, the battery is rated at 3950 milliamp hours and supports the QI charging standard, so you will be able to wirelessly charge it as well. And it's already pre selected English United Kingdom, so I'm going to hit next and I'm going to connect up to my Wi Fi here. Excellent, that's connected up to my Wi Fi or connecting up to my Wi Fi at the moment, so it shouldn't take too long because I'm not too far away from the access point, so it needs a system update straight away. Okay, so we'll hit next. And it looks like it's a rebooting. And it says it last checked for an update at 7.15, which sounds about right for what time it is here in the UK. So we'll just let it reboot. That was interesting, it had an update as soon as I connected up to my Wi-Fi, so I'm going to go back to English UK here and connect up to my Wi-Fi again. And that's just connecting up to my Wi-Fi again, and hopefully it won't have another update, it should let me go straight through. Got a Google account, I'm going to say yes, I'll sign in here. I'm going to untick backup and location services here, if I can get them right, there we go. And keep me up to date with news and offers, that's okay. Excellent, it's already got my name input there, so we'll hit next. 
Excellent, that didn't take too long to set up and as you can see it's already bought through my library here. Scrolling through the various home screens, I do like this electric blue type of stuck wallpaper being used when you receive your device. Now just point out this device does ship with a 1.5 gigahertz Qualcomm quad core CPU with 2 gigs of RAM and the Adreno 320 is backing up the GPU. You can see the model number purely shows as a Nexus 7 and the Android version is showing as 4.3 which is obviously Jellybean. That's been an unboxing and its first setup of the new Nexus 7 2013 model made by ASUS and this is a Wi-Fi 16 gigabyte iteration of it. As ever, any comments or questions you guys have got, hit them up in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and you like what you saw. And if you haven't already done so, hit subscribe. It's also down there as well. Doesn't cost you a penny. And you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a wicked day and we'll see you next time.